2018 NCAA Division I uh, Midwest Cross Country Regional here in uh, freezing cold uh, Peoria, Illinois with uh, Sarah Nicholson, the uh, former Lafayette State Champ in uh, the uh, Northwestern Junior, captures her second uh, all-region honor and second and third in three years. Tell me, uh, um, uh, pretty solid season. I know teams had a good season and you had a solid race at the loaded Big Ten. It's crazy how deep the Big Ten is. You yeah, said 30-something? 30 36, yeah. And then uh, 20, what, 24th today? 21st. 21st. Uh, 2108 uh, in a, like I said, muddy, you know, cold, <laughs> snowy uh, course. Tell me just uh, what you're thinking and feeling right now for the race. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think uh, about a year ago I fell on ice and um, it definitely set me back and so I feel like this is the first time where I feel like my fitness is back where I was. Um, I think I'm really proud of how hard our teams work this year and um, I think it's going to give us good momentum for next year. Um, and what's, what's it like as you've continued now, you're a seasoned veteran and adjusted to full-time college academics and, and training and now you're an upperclassman. What, what's, uh, well before we get to that, just tell me how the race played out. Obviously regionals is uh -huh. As a huge pack. I mean, we're talking, you know, almost 300 women in the race, 30-some teams, uh, well, 200 and some, and it's, you know, nobody takes out and pushes. Mm -hmm. It's a big jam until somebody decides to really stretch it out and spread it out. Yeah. Just talk about how the race played out for you today and, and, and where you made moves and, sure. and faltered and succeeded and et cetera. Um, I think, so our coach told us to have a first strong K, first K and last K. And so I tried to get out, put myself in a good position, and then just slowly try to make my way up during the middle Ks. Uh, and then at 5K, really push it towards the end. I tried to use uh, the little hills in between to give myself some momentum and somewhere to make a move. So um, I just slowly started to build, make sure I was in contention for uh, all region throughout the race. Any spots in the course giving you any trouble? I had a couple of muddy spots that I yeah, going up, yeah. a couple of little hills um, that I, I almost slipped on. I think for the most part it was okay. The turns sometimes were a little sketchy, but yeah. overall um, I, I was actually pleasantly surprised that the way it turned out. Yeah. Fifth place team finish overall. I think you guys were uh, ranked seventh or eighth coming in maybe in the region and uh, uh, maybe six maybe. You, you got to feel good about, about the team and the team finish. Yeah, I think that um, our ultimate goal was to try to put ourselves in position to qualify for nationals and uh, it didn't happen but I'm really proud of uh, everybody and uh, the effort they put in today. So overall I think it was a good day. Yeah, the variables each year at regionals, just you see how, how you know, one one or two things can make the difference between second and tenth place, or, or, or you know, it's just such a crapshoot almost. But uh, And then again, what's it like being an upperclassman as you try to uh, you take on more of a leadership role for these freshmen and sophomores that come into the program and show them the, the ways of, of uh, the uh, Wildcats? Or tell me what life's yeah. like as a junior now. Um, I think that as a junior, you finally got the academics portion of Northwestern down. Um, um, it's really challenging sometimes to balance athletics and academics. Uh, the quarter system moves fast. And so um, I think that I've been very fortunate to have great upperclassmen before me to teach me the way. And uh, it's been really fun watching our freshmen excel and do as well as they've done. Uh, we've got some really great um, girls coming in. And so uh, honestly, I, I'm so proud to be a Wildcat, and I've really enjoyed my time here so far. And what are you studying? Economics. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm doing a business institutions minor and then uh, like a certificate in marketing, so hoping to keep doing that. Well, your younger sister was just, a, what, a year behind you, I think, mm -hmm. and now is at Indiana, and then until maybe six weeks ago, I didn't realize that you had a, uh, a younger brother. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, uh, he turned into a running star. Right, now a senior at Lafayette and uh -huh. uh, pulled off a, a great finish, great, amazing race last week, I think 15th for all state honors last uh, week. 11th actually. 11th, yeah. wow, to put, help, the, uh, help the Lancers back onto that team podium. Tell me what that was like, uh, I don't know if you were there in person no, or I wasn't. What, what it was like to see his, his, his progression and really yeah. take the sport, you know, and, and you know, really get after it this fall. Yeah, I'm very proud of John. Um, um, I think that he's finally come into his own. Um, I think that he's really put in the work, and I'm just a proud sister. I'm yeah. really happy to see him enjoy running. Sure, sure. Um, you guys ever, uh, if, you, if you're going home for Thanksgiving, any any, any runs with him? And uh, you guys Definitely. ever do much running, running together? Yeah, if he lets me. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, yeah. Con congrats on the great season. And tell me, uh, going forward, you feel healthy and ready for track? Or yes, I'm very excited. I think that we're going to go head to Boston at uh, the beginning of December, do a 5K, and then get some rest in. Have you developed a favorite race on the track yet? Um, I'm hoping for the 10K this year. Okay. Um, but I usually stick with the 5, so... Yeah. It's always a favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congrats on the great season. Another Thank you so uh, great, much. great race, and then yeah. enjoy the uh, the big medal and uh, safe trip back to Chicago. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome.